Turkey unveils Lumta's anti-tank missile that can reach up to four times by 16 km range. Four times, the range of U.S. Javelin ATGM, Turkey unveils Lumta's anti-tank missile that can reach six, 16 km. Turkey has advertised its new Lumta's GM anti-tank guided missile, ATGM, attaining a flight range of more than 16 km in a test. The Rakazan product possibly has the most extended reach, than the claimed and operational ranges of six leading Russian, American, and French ATGMs. ATGMs have found great utility in the current Russia-Ukraine war. With many Russian tanks destroyed, by javelins in the early months and, scores of Ukraine's Western-supplied armor, by Vikra ATGMs fired from Kamov Ka-52 gunships. Russia also used its Faggot ATGMs for anti-personnel-slash-infantry strikes while defending its defensive lines from Ukrainian probing attacks. The Turkish product is revolutionary because, it has the most extended range and, comes amid a host of sophisticated air, naval, and land systems. Turkey has produced over the years, emerging as a leading defense major alongside South Korea. Moreover, Ankara has also indigenously developed systems, that complement missile-based anti-tank warfare, like a wide range of unmanned aerial vehicles, UAV, and attack helicopters. That affect the long-range benefits of the ATGM by providing surveillance and targeting data. ATGM hitting target at 16 kilometers. It then shows a launching system when the Lumda's GM leaves the canister tube. Four wings flap open backward, and the following shots show the missile going through the middle of the marked targeting sheet from different angles. Turdef says, the Lumtas GM missile alone weighs 41.3 kilograms, 66.3 kilograms with the canister, has a length of 1.72 meters, and can cross its 16-kilometer range to 20-kilometer, if fired from a helicopter. Turkey already has a light class T-129, attack, attack helicopter, and has secured some export orders. The Lumtas GM is the first member of Rakhazan's, Umtas GM family. Which will include two versions, UMTAS GM Block 1 will have two variants. Like the UMTAS, one with a semi-active laser seeker and, the other with an air seeker. UMTAS GM Block 2 will feature a new type of dual-mode seeker housing an air and a TV seeker in two separate apertures, Turdif added. Longest range among existing ATGMs? But what distinguishes the, UMTAS GM, is its exceptionally more extended range than any known system, going by the performance specifications on open-source information. For instance, the Russian 9M113 Concourse, the 9M133M Cornet M, and the 9K111 Faggot missiles. Depending on the warhead, these range from 4 to 5 km, 8 to 10 km, and 2.5 to 3 km. The US's Advanced Javelin Missiles Joint Venture version can reach up to 4 km. Meanwhile, the BGM-71 TOW has a maximum range of 3.75 km while a 4-kilometer version is under development. The French-German Milan ATGM's, Milan ER variant can reach up to 3-kilometer. Turkey can fight, like Russia on land. Functioning with an attack helicopter, and advanced drones dramatically enhances, the performance of anti-armor, air-to-ground munitions, AGM, similar to how Russia's Kamov Ka-52 alligator, devastated Ukrainian armor, with its onboard Vikr 9K121, Isdali A305, Product 305, missiles. Both range from 10 to 12 kilometers and 14.5 kilometer, respectively, coming closest to the 16 kilometer range of the Lumda's GM. Using its combination of a network centric battlefield management system that exchanges data with UAVs, other aircraft, and helicopters. An active electronically scanned array, AESA, that can detect aerial and ground targets. 15 and 12 km, respectively. And the GOES 451M electro optical turret, for long range target identification and tracking, Russia nearly destroyed Ukraine's Western origin tanks and armored fighting vehicles en masse. This was during its failed counteroffensive launched in early June, as photos and videos on social media showed scores of destroyed and burnt out armor. Turkey has not yet developed the kind of advanced radio communications and electronic warfare capabilities Russia has. However, Combining the T-129 attack, Bayraktar's TB-2, TB-3, and Akinsey drones can keep large armored forces at bay. The only possible elements missing are a large heavy-class attack helicopter and, a main battle tank, MBT, for full combined arms land warfare capabilities. These two needs, too, might be met soon, 
when the underdevelopment T929 attacked two heavy attack helicopter and Altai MBT finished testing and enter serial production.